Public schools in America allow Planned Parenthood to access the youngest of children in order to push their hypersexual, destructive agenda. They justify perversion and they deceptively use terms like health, science, and age appropriate. And with the help of your tax dollars, they're exposing kids to pornography, homosexuality, sexual experimentation, and of course, abortion as they normalize unrestrained sex. It's no surprise public school children are getting hooked on sex. Following the same business model as drug dealers, Planned Parenthood's goal is to make sex addicts. With the help of Hollywood, pop culture, music, and the education system, this godless worldview has already led to tragically high numbers of abortions among teenage girls and young women. And what if sex between boys and girls doesn't lead to pregnancies? Planned Parenthood also makes money offering testing services for sexually transmitted diseases. They've got all the bases covered. First, they introduce obscene sex ed materials, encouraging risky sexual behavior in young people through our schools. Then they might even pass out condoms and talk about safe sex, but never abstinence or purity, God forbid. Planned Parenthood purposely and maliciously exposes children to things they are not mature enough to comprehend. Things in generations past that were only discussed at home with parents. Did you really know what Planned Parenthood is selling as normal, natural, and healthy? We're talking about sexual content depicting people in various sexual positions along with images of male and female body parts. Also, masturbation and anal sex. The producer of the 2012 American Life League report, Michael Highborn, sums it up this way. If a dirty old man showed these things to a 10-year-old kid in a park, he'd be arrested. But when Planned Parenthood shows them to kids in a classroom, it gets government money. It's hard to believe American parents are on board with this, so I can only assume they don't know about it. A book already promoted in many schools by Planned Parenthood discusses sexual intercourse, experimentation, homosexuality, and pornography. Guess what the book is called? It's perfectly normal. The controversy came up again recently, this time on the House floor in Minnesota, as Representative Eric Lucero flipped through the book describing some of the content, including naked caricatures of young boys and girls looking at their bodies in the mirror. Parents should not have to opt out their children of content that ought not to be taught in the first place. Like many of us, Lucero was also concerned not only about the graphic nature of the content, but the reckless idea that pornography is normal and healthy. Take a look. The book speaks about pornography and that it is not bad for you. That is not true. Psychology demonstrates that exposure to pornographic material has a detrimental impact, especially in the minds of young people who can't comprehend the material. Parents and grandparents, our culture has been hijacked by radicals. Open war is upon us, and the children are the targets. With the transgender revolution, we're already seeing some of the consequences of removing God, moral absolutes, prayer, and the subject of intelligent design from our schools. Something must fill the void, so kids are learning evolution, and they're reading books such as I Am Jazz, which promotes the idea some kids are just born in the wrong bodies. Just last week, in another sign of the times, a bill in Ohio had to be introduced in an attempt to stop drag queen shows at schools and public libraries. It's astounding and sad that it's come to this. As Planned Parenthood and Big Abortion Business proudly promotes its dangerous, depraved sexual agenda, they know in the long run their business will reap the benefits. They don't care about children making life-changing choices, harmful choices, teens catching diseases, about broken families due to adultery, divorce, or about the destruction of so many who cannot forgive themselves for taking the life of a preborn baby. Let's review. Check out this quick clip from the American Life League video. This is what Planned Parenthood is all about. Get the kids addicted to sex so it can sell them birth control. 
When teens catch a sexually transmitted disease, it sells them testing services. And when a young girl gets pregnant, it sells her an abortion. This isn't education. It's indoctrination intended to drum up Planned Parenthood's abortion business. Only God can heal this land. But it's clear over half of the country's abandoned him and rejected the truth. I'm David Fiorazzo. God bless you and keep speaking the truth about things that matter.